Zoplan's new Equally Space command allows for any number of items to be positioned with an equal space between them. There are a number of options within the Equally Space command that can be selected depending on the desired results. The following examples show how this new tool can be used on a series of posts that have been randomly placed between two exterior walls. Found under the Move menu, the Equally Space command uses an expanding box to select the items to be equally spaced. Once the items are selected, the Equally Space dialog opens. The spacing between items can be specified as either center to center or edge to edge. We will start with the center spacing. There is also an option to indicate additional space at each end. For these first few examples, we will specify no spacing at the ends. To indicate the length or distance the objects will space themselves between, select the Trace Spacing Line button. You can then select the start and end points that the items will use to position themselves. Enabling cursor snap will help in achieving an accurate length. Since the center spacing was initially selected, the center points of the first and last items are placed at the start and end points with the center points of the remaining items equally spaced between them. For this next example, the spacing will be changed to between while the add space on end will still remain as none. After tracing the length of the spacing line, the edges of the first and last items are placed at the start and end points, with the edges of the remaining items being equally spaced. Using the equally spaced command on the next group of items, we will select a half space to be added on either end. Once the items are positioned, a space is added at the ends equal to half the spacing. One more example will be done with a full spacing added to the ends. Once completed, a full space is added to the start and end points. If the start and end points for tracing the spacing line are not known, you can select the option to Specify Spacing. The initial spacing and distance is determined by the current position of the first and last item in the selected group, based on the current spacing option of either on center or between. If we need the outer edges of the first and last item to be 20 feet apart, set the spacing to between and enter a 20 foot distance. The shift direction allows you to control the anchor point for the spacing of the selected items. The middle split button sets the midpoint of the selected items as the anchor, while the left button anchors the rightmost item and shifts the remaining items towards the left, while the right arrow anchors the leftmost item and shifts the remaining items towards the right. The preview of the items can be used to help predict the final placement of the grouped items before the shift direction is selected. Finally, when selecting the Specify Spacing option, the current orientation of the grouped items is used to determine if the positioning occurs horizontally or vertically. This option can be changed to affect the final placement of the grouped items depending on the final results.